Yo, what's up, y'all? So today is the 4th of May, 2024, and I'm back at y'all with another video. And it's been almost three weeks since I made my last uh, video. I made a reaction video to the O.J. Simpson uh, situation, death. And, um, you know, I've decided that I might start becoming more consistent with making videos. I have not quite come up with a schedule yet because I know if I want to do more YouTube videos, I need to have a schedule. Um, I think that I might be able to um, come up with content a lot faster because I do have a lot of subjects, a lot of things that I want to talk about. I do have a lot to say. You know, it doesn't really take me too long to come up with a, a subject to talk about. But in this video, I want to talk about the whole 50-50 thing um, when it comes to dating. You know, right now, there's a, there's a big discussion on whether men and women should go 50-50 in a relationship. Now, in my personal opinion, I don't necessarily believe in the 50-50 um, relationship or deal. And I'm going to tell you why. You know, the whole 50-50 thing, it really comes from um, the whole equality, um, fairness thing. Uh, people want fairness, equality between men and women. But the truth is, um, it sort of goes against the natural... Um, sexual attraction between men and women, right? And what I mean is, see, most women are attracted to men who are physically stronger than them, right? Most women are attracted to men who have more muscle mass than her, right? Most women are attracted to men who are taller than them. Most women are attracted to men who make more money than them, right? So we can talk about equality all we want. We can try to make the, the playing field equal, but at the same time, it sort of diminishes the way sexual attraction works between men and women. You know, I'm a man. I don't want to be with a woman who is who has the same amount of muscle mass as me. I'm not attracted to a woman who has more testosterone than me, you know. Um, um, and that's just the way it works. It's always worked like that. In this case, I'm talking about heterosexual relationships and and a lot of times, that's the whole 50-50 thing is a discussion um, within the heterosexual realm anyway, right? But um, just to make that clear. But um, to be honest, now, I'm not saying everybody. Of course, you may have some people who are a little bit different. They might, you might got some guys out there who like women who are very physically strong. Or you might, you might have some women out there who don't mind being with a man who makes less money than her but for the most time for the most part i'm just talking about average right majority of the time most women want a man who makes more money than her and most men may not feel comfortable being with a woman who makes a lot more money than him you know um you know but like i say i'm going back down to sexual attraction the whole 50 50 thing goes against the way sexual attraction works and this is something that i don't hear people talk about who talk about this subject um uh, i feel like some people they're so focused on it, it's more of a it's like it's just it's just something for people to complain about you know you want to feel powerful women want to feel powerful they want to um make the plane feel fair so they can feel equal to a man or or not and the whole thing is like it's like it's something that I've talked about before with the with the pay gap between men and women is you know you want you feel like you should make the same as a man makes but at the same time <coughs> you you don't you're not interested in dating a man unless he makes money more money than you so it's kind of a contradiction. You understand what I'm saying? So um, I guess that's all I really want to say is the whole 50-50 thing goes against the way sexual attraction works between men and women. Because you can fight for equality all you want, but at the end of the day, most women are attracted to men who, who are more capable of, than them. You know, if a woman notices a man is no physically stronger than she is, 
she might start losing attraction for him. Her sexual attraction will start to diminish. Um, she might even start losing some respect for that man. So, you know, once again, um, it just shows, shows you how a lot of these social constructs, a lot of these social talking points don't line up with reality at the end of the day. Now, some of y'all might disagree. That's fine. You can leave a comment, but that's it for now. I'm going to try to be more consistent with videos, but um, this was a, a real quick video. I'm a little bit tired right now. I need to take a nap, but uh, I'll talk to you next thing. All right.